Hello, Alison here, and in today's FileMaker tutorial, we are going to learn about global fields, what they are, why they're different from other fields, and when to use them. Let's get started. Global fields can be thought of in one of two ways. They can be thought of as a special field in a table that stores a piece of data, a single piece of data, that you want to enter once, um, but you might change. And because you might change it, you'd rather change it sort of in the record environment and not have to go uh, either uh, to different layouts to change it, in the example of a logo, or uh, into defined fields to change it, in the example of like a tax rate or a commission rate. The other way to think about a global field is as a piece of data that applies to every record in the table. An example of this might be an account code that a department has that needs to be put in front of uh, a request number or a purchase order number uh, in some type of an export that might get sent uh, to the accounting department, for example. So I've given a couple of examples of these and there is an instance where it is not a good idea to use global fields and where it might seem like it would be a good idea. I'll uh, describe that uh, more towards the end, but first I want to go ahead and uh, show you uh, some examples of globals in action. So let's do that now. In this example, this is a media requests database that is used to track requests and it is used only by the media assistant. It is not shared. It's a local database used only by her. And so this was the perfect opportunity to use a global field for the image that you see uh, here in the upper left. Uh, if we go to the list view, uh, excuse me, the detail view, uh, we see that same uh, image there on both the list and the detail view. Now if we go over to the interface layout and we, um, well first of all, we look uh, in define fields, command uh, shift D or uh, under the file menu in manage database and we look in the interface um, table, we see that the logo is a container field that is a global, uh, meaning that it is stored locally to the user's um, uh, computer. So if it changes, it only changes on uh, her computer, which in this case is totally fine because the database lives on her computer. So it is a global, meaning that if we change this image and we insert a new picture and we go back to the list, we see the new picture there. And if we um, click the detail, it is there also. So we changed the image in one place and it appeared in both places. So it's a really nice, easy uh, way to uh, sort of change things up a little bit without much effort. In this example, this is a login screen and the username is a global field. If I choose Command L or uh, View Layout Mode, we can see that this username field is a field in the system login table. And if I use the shortcut Command Shift D for database or choose File Manage Database, I can see that in this table, the username is a global. And it's perfectly appropriate for it to be a global because that information is information that is local to the user themselves. Uh, when they log in, it's going to be their username. If somebody else logs in, you want that information, you know, if uh, I, Allison, log in, I want the username to say Allison, and if Barry signs in from another computer, I want the username to be Barry. And so that global is making it perfect for us to be able to do that um, because it is locally stored. One example of using a global field 
in a case where it's a piece of data that gets applied to every record is the example of a departmental code that needs to get sent uh, with an Excel report that goes to the accounting department. So if I were to switch to the interface uh, table, we can see that we have an account code here uh, that gets uh, sent, that needs to get sent with every uh, request in an Excel export. So by going into define fields and taking a look at this account code, we see that it's global, meaning that it's a piece of data that will uh, be part of every record. It's the, the other way to think about uh, you, the use of a global field. And so with that in place, when we go to the request uh, section, we have 279 found. When we choose um, File, uh, Export Records, and we say uh, Accounting Report, and uh, we save that, and you'll see here that I have the account code from the interface uh, table and that it is a global, a global field. And then from the request table itself, I have the request ID, the request date, the project name, and the total fees. And if I wanted the uh, category to go along with it, any fields that are here you can add them to your field export by double clicking or choosing the move button. So I might add the request category and then move that up before a project name. And that's all the information that the accounting department needs, but the most important bit for them is that departmental account code. So when I say export, and it opened up here in another window, and it's kind of uh, small, so let's make it bigger. And we see that if we pull this out a little bit, this is the account code that needs to go with the report, and it's in every row for every request that got exported. So remember that globals are local. If we post the solution to the server with a global and then try to change it, that change won't stick because we're only changing it locally. And so for this reason, we created a single record. You'll notice here behind me, there's a single record in this settings table. And in that single record, which will be accessible by everybody, we have uh, the logo container in that record. And like this, we can change and update the information in the record. That is at the server level, it's at the database level, it is not local to the user. So that is the importance of considering uh, the use of globals when you are in a server situation. That's our tutorial for today. If you found it useful, if you would give it a thumbs up, and if you would like to see more videos like this, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and have a great day.